Hello and welcome back to another video. And yes, I know I took a, a two week break, uh, but we're back again. YouTube is telling me there is a content gap for environments in Blender. So a lot of uh, Blender YouTubers are making environment tutorials right now. I don't know why there's a content gap. My entire channel is environments. We're going to use something like ChatGPT. We're going to ask ChatGPT what to make. Delete the default cube and add it again and delete it. Add a plane. Get us about 20. I subdivide this and create a pawn in the middle. Just the proportional editing. Make this. Uh, you can add some more vertices. Make this a little bit more interesting. So let's move this down and just scale it on the Z axis uh, down. You create this like it, it, it's flat in the middle, but then on the sides it's a lot steeper. And right now we can just uh, do some displacements. Something really easy. Some clouds. Increase the scale. Not too much though. So this is what I'm imagining with the ponds. So now we can add the material and I have a material I would like to use, which is uh, from uh, the Botanic, so Water Lake. Uh, again, thanks to the guys over at uh, Botanic uh, for sending that to me. We'll need to add the material here and of course apply the scaling to these. Uh, go over to Polygonic uh, and add our trees. So we needed um, vibrant green leaves, tall trees. So yeah, that's the populous tree. I love these trees, they're amazing. So move this down by 100 meters and then just uh, rotate this on the x-axis by minus 90 degrees, the usual. And then apply the rotation, go over here, and go over to the hair, advance, rotation. I've done this so, so many times. So we'll create a vertex group, which we will call trees, and another one, which we will call ponds. And this particle system will have the trees, of course. Just speed running this a little bit. I want to see more of the forest, so a bigger perspective uh, is fine. So yeah, I added some trees and I just surrounded them along the pond. I tried culling it to the um, camera view, but it didn't really work well. So just going to do it everywhere, all the trees. If we go to our camera view, we can see all the trees. But I'm really, I really want to add a moss material, which uh, ChatGPT told me I had to do. This ground is covered in a soft bed of moss i have no idea how to do that we could we could use like the um, snow generator and just add a moss texture on that but i don't really think that will work but we can try of course so just add some grass We can add some lily pads, as ChatGPT told us. So what I found would really add some realism is to just like select the outer side of the uh, pond, like the the shoreline, if you will, and then just adding some uh, riverbank grass there. And maybe some rocks. So right here we can add um, some grass. Or no, it's in the um, uh, weed section. Some uh, riverbank grass. And then we can just set the density to the shore. And now if you go preview this, you can see, you can see uh, the long grass near the uh, edge, which you would expect. We have a little bit uh, too many trees though. There should be uh, a lot of sunlight coming through, but it is not. Maybe we should position the sun uh, somewhere like there. Of course, you always want to add uh, a plane that you can put in the background. This doesn't really have to be subdivided all that much, just a little bit. And then just make a little hill, something like this. You can place that there, so it covers up the view. So 
So this is already looking really good. We have our beautiful water and our trees. And I added some trees in the background. The grass didn't really work. It was still a little bit like uh, empty right there. So I added some trees. So it kind of like cover ups, uh, covers up the um, end of the world. Because we don't really want to add um, things infinitely, of course. I love you. Yeah, we have uh, almost everything we need. We can add some more like uh, water. Uh, plants here maybe some here so this is basically what all, all you need for an environment uh, something I always like to do is go over to the uh, trees um, and just match them uh, match the color of them to the um, to the grass so this is uh, um, like a really green green and this is more like a warm green so let's make this a little bit uh, more saturated maybe so yeah, something like this, I think, is fine. So I think we uh, added most of them. Uh, one of the things uh, we have to do is add a majestic tree. So I think the best place for that is in the middle here of the pond. Just add a little island. Yeah, this is perfect. Little island there. And I think I know the um, perfect majestic tree. Yeah, here it is. The Stylus Fantasy Tree Generator. Exactly this one, yeah. So something we can do to make this more interesting is just uh, by making it a little bit brighter and a little bit more saturated. Not too much though, just a, a little tiny bit, like this is already too much. I think this is perfect. So it stands out, but not too much. It isn't like unnatural, you know? A um, little bit darker, yeah this is, uh, this is perfect. It's already in the middle of the scene, so it, it works great. And add some foreground elements, uh, like the tree here. You could also add some like uh, shrubbery uh, right here, which I think I am going to do, uh, just to show you how it works. Something like this, maybe? I think this is uh, a little bit of a wrong color though, but it could work. Uh, it's a little bit too tall, but if we find something, maybe a sapling, just so we have some blur in the foreground. And this will probably be my final render. But ChatGPT told us something really interesting, and that is that we had to make an animation. So before we do that, just uh, render this one. So while rendering this still image, I've noticed that after about a hundred samples, um, the image really doesn't change that much anymore. It's like a perfect quality already. So for the animation uh, to cut some time off the render, we are of course going to uh, render it at like 96 samples. Um, so yeah, that's great. Something you might want to do is uh, denoise, or you don't want to do that. Let's see how the sampling goes here. So yeah, this is about the image you're going to get. Add some denoising. And it's even better. So the first thing we need to do for animation is animate our camera, of course. So I want my camera to come from uh, about here. 
and let's just put up the um, timeline by pressing shift F12. We can add our keyframe right here on the first frame. And then I'm um, going to make this animation about five seconds, maybe. And then I could, of course, animate it. So I'm going to move my camera a little bit forwards and a little bit down. And of course, keep the tree in center. Something like this. And of course, keyframe again. So now if you watch this animation, we can see our camera moving there. The tree is already animating because of the geometry nodes, which is amazing. It's uh, playing back at a horrible frame rate, but I think you can see what it's supposed to look like. Maybe if we just uh, remove all the grass, we actually only need the trees to give like a good idea about this. So there are leaves coming down. Amazing geometry nodes. I don't know who made this, but uh, it's amazing. It's great. I do want the fine gravity to be a little bit less. Something like this, yeah. This is amazing. We animated our camera and we have an animated tree. And we of course need to animate our uh, botanic trees. Luckily, that's really easy. The first thing you have to do is just make it edible, editable. So we uh, grab everyone and just convert to editable. And then we can add a animation somewhere, at animation right here, a loop on 20 frames. So we had to uh, check the uh, automatic make instance uh, and turn it off. So now it's all animated. We don't need these to be animated though. And you can see we have a lot of these empties in the uh, in our terrain. And that uh, sucks. But luckily, if you know anything about the particle systems, you know that there is a use count button here, which is uh, pretty great. And now every empty, we can just make the count zero. And it should return back to uh, the usual. And let's see, is it the same? Yes, it's exactly the same. And it should still be animating. Yeah. So yeah, that's how you do it. We have animated trees. And these are not animated because they still use the uh, static um, like uh, instances we made. So that's why we made uh, a copy of those. So yeah, that's uh, great. We added some camera movement, some tree movement, and this will probably take years to render, but I'll leave the results up at the end of this video. So yeah, that's the video. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Uh, oh, and go over to my comrades and buy some things there.